comp is fusion how to. Right now, his how to is making comp is fusion look like Windows Vista. So, what's comp is fusion, you ask? Well, comp is fusion is the 3D desktop for Windows. And Windows Vista Aero is the 3D desktop for Windows Vista. So, how do we get comp is fusion to look like Windows Vista? Just a few things before I start. I had to record the Vista computer with the video camera because there is no good screencasting programs for Windows Vista. Also, it may appear that my taskbar is actually at the top of the screen, but it's really at the bottom, and the reason why it's at the top is due to a recording link. Okay, firstly for themes. Now, if you want to look for a Vista theme in your Emerald Theme Manager, I'm using one called Vista Cube, and make sure that the Emerald Theme Manager is active. So now you have Vista-like title bars in their full transparent glory. Now before you begin changing settings, I recommend that you make a new profile in your Compass Fusion Settings Manager. I've called this one Vista. But you can add any profile that you want. Now for the reflections, in your Compass Config Settings Manager, filter out for Reflection and then go to the Reflection plugin. Now you have to select a reflection image and the one I'm using here is called reflectiondefault.png and I'll include it in the show notes. Make sure that moving reflection is checked and reflection for decorations is also checked. And then finally enable reflection. Note that this may not work on cards that do not have pixel shaders. Now to be honest, there's a lot of stuff that Windows Vista doesn't do that Compass Fusion has enabled by default Windows plugin because Vista definitely doesn't do that. And then you'll want to enable the Window Previews plugin and disable the Screensaver plugin. You want to enable the Shift Switcher plugin, and I'll get to that later, and disable the Scale Windows plugin. Now, Windows Vista Aero Alt Tab Switcher is a bit like the Compass one, and I'll just zoom in here, in that it does have a glass background. To emulate this effect in Compass Fusion, you need to filter out for Application Switcher. Now, if you invoke it, you'll notice that the desktop kind of zooms out, which is not really what we want. So we have to change the zoom mat to zero. And then when we invoke it again, it'll be just like Vista. Now for the animations. Windows Vista does this really neat effect when you open a window. Sort of like a fade and a zoom when you open and close it. This is also the case when you minimize and unminimize a window. To do this in Compass Fusion, filter out for animations, go to open animation, and under open effect, make sure the effect is glide to the duration is 400 and the window match is as it is set to be. This is what the settings dialog looks like. Now you want to get that minimize animation. So go to minimize animation and make sure the effect is glide 1, the duration is 500 and the window match is as is. Now Windows Vista doesn't do this, but if you want a nice fade effect when you fade between windows, just select the fade animation under focus animation. Now under effect settings, scroll down to glide 1, change the away position to minus 0.4 and the away angle to 45 degrees, leave the thickness at 0 and make sure that zoom to taskbar on minimize is checked. Now you have some nice Windows Vista like open and close and minimize animations as you can see there. Now I'm briefly going to talk about blur. Now because blur seems to make my system crash when I enable it, I can enable it for you but I can suggest that you turn the Gaussian radius up to 15 and leave everything as it is. Under focus blurring, 
uncheck focus blur and under transparency blurring this is the most important part type type equals normal dialog modal dialog utility and unknown and make sure that the rule is in brackets now change the blur filter to Gaussian because it looks better and then you just check enable blur windows now we want nice windows vista style wallpaper I already have one installed and I have it listed on the show notes it's listed as w12.jpg select it in the desktop background preferences and your wallpaper will automatically be changed now for themes of course to have a computer look like Windows Vista you need a nice Windows Vista widget style to do this go to your control center which is not the compass fusion preferences and go to themes if you haven't installed the Linsta 3 theme already hit install theme otherwise go to theme details and change the controls to Linsta 3. Now under icons change it to Vista Inspirit 1. Again if you don't have these I will list them for you in the show notes. Now for window thumbnails. When you hover over a taskbar button in Windows Vista a small thumbnail of the window appears. To do this in Compass Fusion search for thumbnails and hit the window previews. Now under thumbnail window size, change that value to 300 or 350 and change the thumbnail border size to 20. This is the most important part. Check that window paint window like background is checked. Now to get text, simply enable the text plugin. So when you hover over your windows in the taskbar like this, you'll now get a nice preview of them. Now for the sidebar. This is kind of hard to do, but we can sort of do it with no panel in this hacky sort of style. To do this, check new panel when you right click on your panel, and then check allow panel to be moved. Now simply change the orientation to right. Now you'll notice that there's some lines there in the panel and there's nothing that we can really do to get rid of them for now. But instead, just go to solid color, change it to black, and slide the transparent to opaque slider to about halfway. Now for the applets. You can simply just drag and drop panel applets onto the sidebar. Now for my favorite effect of them all, Flip 3D. Flip3D is a nice feature in Vista that I'm sure you've all heard about. It sort of allows you to scroll through your windows in a 3D fashion. This is possible in Compass Vision. Now if you remember from a while ago, I told you to enable the Shift Switcher plugin. Now in the Shift Switcher plugin, change Switcher Mode from Cover to Flip. And change Background Intensity. Then change flip angle to 35 degrees. And under the reflection subsection, uncheck reflection. Now under misc options, uncheck show minimized. And leave all the other values as they are. Now to invoke flip simply press the super key or the windows key and tab. That was the transformation of Linux to Vista. Thank you for watching. This has been another Compass Fusion how-to.